God bless you again. And I'm so thankful once more to have an opportunity to share with you from the Word of God. Uh, we are off to such a good start. We give all thanks and praise to God uh, for everything, the families, the teachers, the students, um, allowing us to do the things that we're doing thus far in this school year. So uh, may God's hand continue to be upon that, upon you, your classrooms, everybody connected again to making Emmanuel Lutheran School a very special and distinctive place in this community. Um, and with that, why don't you pray with me? Uh, dear God, our Father, uh, we thank you, Lord, uh, for how you have blessed, for how you continue to wash over our school. Uh, we thank you for your great love that you have shown both students and teachers and families. And most of all, always in your Son, Jesus Christ. Uh, we truly thank you. You are good and your mercy endures forever. So bless this chapel time together. In Jesus' name, amen. So I want to share from our gospel lesson from this past weekend. It is from the book of Matthew, Matthew chapter 21. Um, Jesus is in the temple courts. And it says, as he entered the temple courts, and while he was teaching, the chief priests and the elders of the people came to him. By what authority are you, what authority are you doing these things? They asked, and who gave you this authority? Jesus replied, I will ask you one question. If you answer me, I will tell you by what authority I am doing these things. John's baptism, where did it come from? Was it from heaven or of human origin? They discussed it among themselves and said, if we say from heaven, he will ask, and why didn't you believe him? But if we say of human origin, we are afraid of the people, for they all hold that John was a prophet. So they answered Jesus, you don't know. Then he said, neither will I tell you by what authority I am doing these things. Then he asked this question, what do you think? There was a man who had two sons. He went to the first and said, Son, go and work today in the vineyard. And the son answered, I will not. But later he changed his mind and went. Then the father went to the other son and said the same thing. He answered, I will, sir. But he did not go. Which of the two did what his father wanted? And they all answered, the first. So that parable there at the tail end of the reading kind of reminded me of what we talked about last week. Remember I talked about um, how I never recall actually getting paid for doing my father's lawn. Um, it was enough that my father loved me that I was in his house. Um, but this made me think, and it never happened, of course, but let's just say uh, my father said to Pastor Chris, um, I want you to cut the lawn, and I would have the nerve to say I will not do it. I'm not going to do it. I got places to go, people to see, um, all of that. Um, by the way, what commandment would that be breaking if I said that to my father? What commandment would it be? First, second, third, fourth, fifth. Yeah, you're right if you guessed the fourth commandment. Um, you shall honor your father and your mother. So when your parents ask you to do things, um, even though sometimes it conflicts with us sometimes, we really ought to do them and uh, pay our parents the honor that they um, but this first son, he says, no, I'm not going to do it. But then later on, he changed his mind and he went back and he did it. Um, the second son, maybe kept wanting to take advantage of the situation to make himself look good. He said, yeah, yeah, dad, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll go out and I'll work in the vineyard, whatever. I'll cut the lawn. Um, but he ended up not doing it. So Jesus asked a simple question. Who in the end was the one who was obedient? Well, you know, of course it was the first son. Even though he grumbled and said he wouldn't do it, he finally went and he did it. Um, what a picture that is for us. Uh, think of Jesus. Think of how the Father sent the Son, um, our Emmanuel, to come to earth and how he was obedient. He did everything that the Father asked him to do, including dying on a cross for you and for me, that our sins would be forgiven and we'd be brought into his family. Um, he would never say to his father, I will not. But that's not really the story with us. 
We've said, I will not, I will not, I will not, I will not so many times. If we do it with our earthly parents, we sure have done it with our Heavenly Father. Um, and you would think that after saying that to the Heavenly Father so many times, he would just say, I'm done with these people. But he doesn't do that. He allows us um, space to repent, to turn back, to say, Father, yes, I, I do believe in Jesus Christ. I do want to follow your will. And he accounts that to us as righteousness. Um, he's a very kind father, and he is a very good father. So this is a message of hope, that if you've ever said to God, I will not, um, if you find yourself being disobedient to what God wants you to do, whether you're a little one or whether you're an adult, um, is always the day of salvation while we have life to return to the Father and say, yes, Lord, I will. I will do what you ask me to do. I will believe in Jesus Christ, um, and I will follow your will and your way for my life as that first son did. So God bless you. Um, remain faithful to the Lord. Um, may God's blessings be upon you and your teachers and your classrooms and everything that you're doing. Um, in our Lord's name. Amen.